Today is Good Friday, and I have been doing something that one person suggested that they were doing in these days of the coronavirus isolation, using that as a time to reflect, to remember, and to discern, to discern what is really and truly important. And I couldn't resist. Um, I have a cap that my brother gave me at Christmas time that I'd like to show you. Now, on this cap, there is a symbol. It says Saint Anne's Tigers. That was the grammar school I went to in Butte, Montana. St. Anne's in Butte, and we were the St. Anne's Tigers, and we were quite ferocious. Also on the band of the hat, there is a BC. That represents Butte Central, the Catholic high school that I went to, also in Butte, Montana. And this cap should cause me to think and to remember, remember many, many different things. But today, especially, I've been thinking of my own childhood and an important experience we had every Friday afternoon. School would end at 3.15, but on Friday during Lent, we were all herded over to the church where we had stations of the cross. And it was a very solemn, very formal kind of celebration with four altar servers, with um, incense, with exposition and benediction of the Blessed Sacrament, and chanting and prayers, and just a, an incredible reminder of what today is about. And, and I thought of that, especially remembering the stations of the cross. The very first one, and we have them here in our own parish, the very first station begins with Jesus being condemned to die. And usually he's depicted in front of Pilate, who's watching his hand, and he, his hands are bound. He's totally under the control of the forces of evil. And he's wearing a crown of thorn. Now, I thought about that crown of thorn because the coronavirus, the Latin word corona means crown. And for many people in our community, in our world, there is a crown a viral crown over them and holding them down and rendering them powerless. In the stations of the crowd, Jesus moves 14 different stops we went. And the final one where Jesus is placed in the tomb, finally the crown is removed, no longer pressing down down and hurting Jesus. I, I thought about that and then also in my parish church, my parish church, we, the pastor and the parish built a new church, brand new, modern, very nice and wonderful church. They did the stations of the cross in a different way. There, there were the 14, but then at the very end, there was a 15th station. Of course, the empty tomb, the resurrection. And you know what? I have to confess, then I didn't like it. It wasn't traditional enough for me. But here we are, Good Friday 2020, and I find myself on the stations of the cross looking up at the crucifix and praying, Lord, 
Lord, please bring us to the 15th station. We can't do it without your help. And, you know, it's more than a prayer. It's more than a request. Today we beg God to bring us to the 15th station. And what do you think God will answer? 